Hello everyone, welcome to this video that you're watching. So in the background here you can see that I am sculpting out a, um, a face. It's cool stuff. Um, this is kind of just uh, from an amateur's uh, perspective here, how, to, how I approach sculpting. Um, yeah, so the uh, kind of the big thing to start out with is um, the shape of the face is very important uh, and the shape of the head. Uh, that directs the entire face and how that's going to work out. Um, like, uh, if you're going to get a muscular-looking, you know, f head, then you got to have, you know, the face to go with it. Um, but, uh, yep, uh, nothing really interesting to talk about uh, here. The nose is pretty easy. I'm kind of working on that. Uh, the nose is kind of one of the things that you start off with, and... Um, you you kind of you kind of do it, and then you're done with the entire thing um, for a while, and you don't really you kind of refine it later on, but it kind of stays the same for the most part. Uh, you can kind of see there I started doing the uh, eyes, and I just uh, took an eye model that I had had earlier. Um, because uh, there's no reason to make a new one if, you, if it's already done. <laughs> if I can talk. Um, yeah, the uh, kind of direction of the face <laughs> really went dif uh, a different way later on. Um, just kind of funny. Uh, at, at the start of this, I kind of tried doing this all from memory, uh, which was a bad idea. Um, never do anything just from memory. Uh, always have reference. That's a, that's a big thing. If you don't have reference of something, you're going to mess it up. Um, because your mind will... I mean, if, when you're starting out, definitely. But I've, I've heard a lot of professionals say, always use reference. Um... And I see why, because you're not going to be able to, you know, perfectly recreate what you're doing there, um, you know, just from memory. You'll forget, you'll mess it up, and, you know, it's always good to have reference, that's kind of the big main point. Um, yeah. So, uh, this entire time lapse here was made within an hour, so for about 20 of those minutes, I worked on just the eyes, and, or, I, I, maybe even 30, I don't know, 20 to 30 minutes, um, I <laughs> wasted on the eyes, because that's, it's such an intricate part, and that's kind of the one thing you look at when you look at a face, you look at the eyes, and, uh, if the eyes look wrong, um, it'll kind of take the balance away and it'll mess it up. Uh, and uh, that's that's kind of with any part of the face, too. If something looks wrong or unnatural, you know, you want, you want, you'll want to look at it and be like, ah, that, that doesn't look right. That looks, that looks weird. Um, and, uh, yeah, it takes away the realism if you don't have something that looks right, but, um, there is a way to make it look wrong, but also, like, there's, there's having it to where it's anatomically completely incorrect, and then, um, having it where it's in like it, hmm, <laughs> Having uh, different uh, blemishes and uh, facial inconsistencies, there we go. That probably still sounds mean, but um, I don't know if you got like like a cleft lip or something like that. Um, you know, that is an example of an inconsistency that you would 
maybe even want to feature on your model, but you wouldn't want to have, like, something, I don't know, like, completely ridiculous, like, your eyes being too big, um, which, for those who have really big eyes, I mean you no harm. I'm, I'm saying, like, ridiculously big eyes uh, can look wrong, um, and they can, within... Within a certain amount, you can make things different. At some point, it becomes where it's like, is it stylized or was it just an error? Right. Um, hopefully that wasn't... Uh, I kind of just went on a rant there. That's kind of this entire thing, isn't it? It's just kind of a weird, weird rant as I'm doing this. Um, but yeah, now you can see I'm... Uh, going into another model there, uh, that was the Postal Dude from, uh, the Postal Games. I went ahead and decided to try to make my own version. Uh, I'm taking the ear because I'm too lazy to, um, you know, do that myself there. So, uh, yep, and then I just attached it to the head there. Uh, at some point you can see me kind of p trying to position it, um, for a little there, I was like trying to, I was like feeling around my face to see if I can, uh, because it's generally, like there's an average way everything uh, kind of is on the face in relation to one another. Like the top of the earlobe is usually going to be um, like near the top of the... Uh, or near, like, that, uh, the, either the bottom of the eye, eyelid, or, um, the edge of the eye there. It's, it's going to be either one. Um, and that's kind of where it sits. Uh, and then having it to where, um, the entrance to the ear canal, entrance, uh, that's kind of weird. Um, but where the ear canal is, is, um, you know, that's, like right before your jawline when it that angle if you follow that angle going upwards it'll be like somewhere after your uh, jawline uh, now I'm getting into the uh, shading and texturing here um, I tried going with something it didn't work because um, the pores looked weird um, it looked like it was just too much so uh, I just decided Screw it. Uh, we'll take the um, the te the bump. So now you can see the little bumps on his face there. Um, and I just decided to keep that because that looked pretty good and pretty realistic. Uh, and then I'm playing around with the shape of the face a little bit more because his lips look a looked a little bit weird to me. Wanted to get it to where it was a little bit more appealing from the uh, side view. Um, and now I'm going into uh, painting, and you can see. I picked out the colors blue, red, and tan, and then the skin color, and I'm painting his face like, why does that look? Well, um, if you kind of think about it, there's more face, more, uh, <laughs> there's more face, more blood in the middle of your face there, and so you want to paint that more red, and then there's um, less blood on your chin area, so... You want to, you know, paint that blue because that's um, the color that it would be there. Uh, and then on the forehead, that's where uh, it, the sun hits that area more. So you want to color that um, sort of like a tannish color. So you have a little bit more of a tan color. And then it depends on the person, you know. Um, you want to make that more or less... Uh, depending on the thing. And then for the entire uh, scalp, that I, I just colored blue because I'm like, well, it should kind of be something like that, right? Because, you know, that there's less blood there, so I, I kind of just assumed it's probably it. And um, then I'm doing the lips there, and that should be a little bit more uh, pink. But not crazy, uh, but it should be something like that. And uh, added a little bit more red to the cheeks because there's a I don't know just stylistic choice and 
add a little bit more blue and uh yeah so uh that was kind of uh it there um it's uh i think it turned out decent enough um and um I'm trying to think of anything else i should really talk about there um no not really uh if you have any um questions about uh where I learned about all of this stuff. I can go ahead and give you links in the um, comments. Just go ahead and ask me. Because uh, I don't want to have to hunt for them if I don't have to. But uh, uh, I'm going to see about trying to do this uh, every week. Take an hour or so to uh, make a face. So uh, give me some suggestions. Uh, celebrities, people you know. <laughs> send me pictures of people you know and then I will sculpt them no but uh give me some celebrities or something like that uh, I can sculpt them be uh, fun to see if I can even do it which uh I don't know how likely that'll be um yeah tell me who you think this looks like too maybe see if I got close to anybody but uh yeah so uh, I will see you guys in the next video thank you